let's create our first blog, which can be accessed through the overview or on the side panel. To create a blog, you have to select a source, which can be a video, an audio, a prompt, a document, or a web link. Let's start with a video from YouTube. Here, you can insert your YouTube URL. You can either make your blog setting autopilot, where your entire blog will be created and published automatically, or you can use Copilot, where you have a lot more freedom, but we'll get into that later. Select your point of view, your blog size, your blog tone, source language, and blog language. You can opt in for an affiliate commission if you want to earn from your blogs, and you can also give credit to someone else's content. You can add your cover, which can be a thumbnail or from your device. And you can add your content images if you want any pictures in your blog to make it more engaging. Here, you can publish your blogs on any of your connected platforms on Blogify. Now you can generate your blog. While that's cooking, let's take a look at Copilot blogging. The settings are basically the same as Autopilot. Once the loading is done, you'll see the title screen. In the future, Blogify will be able to create multiple titles, so hang tight. In the outline section, you'll see all the chapter names that Blogify generated. You can move these around by dragging these six dots and add more sections by clicking the plus icon. Now for the talking points. These are the subsections for your chapters. Again, you can move them around or edit them. Now, hit Generate Content. Once the content's generated, you can edit it and give it your own touch. This is the same screen you'll see if you make a blog using Autopilot. Feel free to edit it however you want. Then, click Save. Now you can publish this blog to any of your connected platforms, edit it again, download it, or copy it. Down here, you can see that Blogify automatically generates multiple keywords, hashtags, and meta tags to boost your blog's SEO. Now we'll go for some other sources you can use when creating blogs. Let's do a Podbean link from audio. Insert any public Podbean link here. The rest of the settings are pretty much the same. But this time, let's add content images. These will be spread out appropriately through your blog post. Here you can see the images that I uploaded are inside the blog post. Another cool thing that I forgot to mention is that you can also rate the blog that Blogify made. Let's move on to a new source. This time, we'll use Prompt, where you can type in your own ideas to make blogs from AI prompts. 
Again, the settings are pretty much the same. But now, we're going to publish your blogs to one of our connected platforms. You can connect to your platform by clicking any of the plus icons. I already have a WordPress account connected. You can decide when it's going to be published and in which site it will be published to. From here, you can publish your blog to your site. This is the site I've created, and you can see the title of the blog I just made. And that's how you connect your blogs to other blogging platforms. The next source will be a document, specifically a Google Doc. Put your publicly available Google Doc link here, and you know the rest. Finally, let's use a web link. This one's going to be an Amazon product. Put the link over here and change the settings how you want. Now let's take a look at the My Wallet section. Here you can see your available balance in Blogify. You can also request a withdrawal to earn your revenue. You can also see the blogs you've made and how much they've earned individually. Here you can see your active subscription. This will show you the subscription that you have and other subscriptions you can upgrade to. You can also cancel your subscription down here. Over here, you can see your transaction history. I currently have zero transactions with Blogify. You'll be able to check your transaction info here. In the settings, you'll be able to change your profile picture, basic information, blog preferences, your interests, blog connection platforms, and social account connections. And in the users section, you can see how many users are in your current project. You can invite other people to your project by using this button right here. Now let's take a look at the add-ons. There's YouTube Connect, where you can connect your YouTube account to Blogify to create blogs straight from your YouTube videos. And there's also YouTube Connect Pro, which does the same thing, but with a lot more cool features. In the Writing Snippets add-on, you can get a lot of small writing snippets to help you write your blogs. These are basically just small text snippets that help make your writing more engaging. And finally, you can see the upcoming features of Blogify. This will show all the new features that will be implemented in the future.